how to relax in the Florida Keys. So you gotta have your kayak, gotta do some fishing, got the cooler with some goodies in it, nice private launch spot, no boats, and a secret hiding spot, destination. Okay, we're arriving at our super secret hidden destination here. I'll put the link in the description for the video about it. But I'm going to set up here and do a little topwater action in this outlet. And uh, I'm targeting an eater-sized mangrove snapper for lunch. So we'll see what we could do. Hook up. Went down pretty deep. I think this might be our one. Stay off the bottom there. Don't get hung up. Oh, don't get hung up. Oh, no. Oh. There he goes. Came out. Let's keep him out of there. Nice. Look at all those snappers. Ooh, big old boys over there. Look at all the snappers. But we got our lunch. Man, look at all the snappers. Well, got lunch out of the way. Pretty one there. So let's get him on ice. Now, even though we caught our lunch, doesn't mean I can't keep fishing for fun. Cause that was fun. Oh, 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 oh. Hit that one on the rocks. Another nice one. Whoa. <laughs> Another beauty. But don't need ya. Already got lunch. Okay, we've caught a few fish there. That was a little bit of stress relief. So now we're gonna go find a spot to hang out and we're gonna look for those groves of trees over there. I think this is gonna be finger number two or three. I think I'm gonna take three or two or three. I don't know. I need some trees though, so that's where we're heading. I think we're gonna head down finger number three. So there's a solid patch of trees on the right and left, so that'll block the wind fairly well. So I think that is gonna be a winner. All right, found our little spot to hang out. Water's real low, so there's a big step up. Threw one of the rod uh, baits out there just to see what'll happen. Uh, Pick a spot right here with a couple of trees. That way I'm close to the water and I can watch my rods. There's a lot of different places to hang out in the shade and stuff, but it's not too hot, so not too bad. I've got my hammock set up here. And this is one I got from Brazil. I haven't used it in a long time. I think I paid like six seven bucks for it 
and I just keep um, one heavy duty clip and then I've got these adjustable uh, I don't know what you call these but uh, very useful for miscellaneous uh, hanging stuff up and then just some basic uh, non stuff that won't uh, disintegrate on you for cordage I'm just gonna run it from tree to tree there so that's what we're gonna do now Well, it looks like we had a, a bit of a foo bar here. So, the original plan dealt with this guy. Nice mangrove snapper. Play that down. Got my frying pan with some Everglades heat. Do some fillets. I got some nice garlic and onion rolls. Some coleslaw, tomatoes, and some lime, some chips, and that was going to be lunch. Some nice grilled mangrove snapper sandwiches, coleslaw sandwiches. But I forgot something. Well, actually, I forgot one, two, well, three things. <laughs> I forgot the lighter, which I've done before, and I probably could have done something to overcome that. But then that led me to the fact that I didn't bring my stove or the propane either. That really sucks. <laughs> so we're going to convert this over to a vegetarian lunch. The mango, mango snapper will go home with me tonight and I'll do the same dinner roll lunch. But uh, for now, I think I'm going to do a coleslaw, tomato, potato chip sandwich for lunch out here. And then, uh, like I said, I'll do that one at night time. So, Always got to adjust. For this meal, got some nice shiny red thick sliced tomatoes since we don't have any meat. So we're going to make the tomatoes nice and thick. That's going to be our, our hardiness. The onion and garlic rolls. Some nice coleslaw. Pack that on there. couple big chunks of tomatoes potato chip for, for crunch give a little bit of texture and bam a sandwich is born <laughs> ah. Not a bad option for a hot summer's day. Now it would have been nice to have a nice big mango snapper filet on there, but sometimes you gotta eat healthy. A little bit of Everglades heat doesn't hurt anything. Well, definitely not going to starve. So I'm going to finish chomping down on this, maybe take a quick nap, see if I catch anything.
maybe catch the evening bite and then head on back. Sun's going down, get a little bit late, so time to cruise it on back to the car. And we survived. Stress free. Okay, so here we go with our redemption dinner, uh, since we kind of messed up on the lunch and wasn't able to uh, cook the fish. Uh, so I ended up got, uh, doing the mangrove snapper fillets, uh, just a little bit of an Everglades heat as a seasoning, uh, pan fried them in oil, so they were good to go. I've got uh, some nice coleslaw to slop on there. That'll be our mayonnaise and all that other stuff, but just a little bit of a variety. A little bit of crunch, a little bit of juices there. Then speaking of crunch, I've got some roasted garlic wavy potato chips. That'll definitely get us the crunch there as well as a little bit of salt and seasoning there. And then a couple of thin sliced tomatoes. Top it off. Nice. And I went ahead and toasted the bun since I have the uh, availability of a nice toaster oven. <laughs> so that'll go there. And bam, garlic onion buns. So that is the revised version of doing it on the outdoors. Well, this is my redemption dinner. So with that little foo bar out there without bringing my cooking stuff, but it doesn't hurt to have a vegetarian meal every once in a while, especially during the summertime. But You're definitely not going to make a mistake with a nice mangrove snapper filet. Just so good. But anyways, probably expect me to do a redo out there on something like this. And a few more follow-up videos. It's just a nice spot out there. Um, it's a rarity in the Keys to find a place that has like those pine trees. So you have plenty of shade, um, somewhere where that you could put up a hammock. I think I've got the fish down and uh, I might start off over there uh, shooting a fish in the face with my uh, spear gun uh, now that the summertime water temps are up and then if the winds start dropping and we get a little bit of clarity I might be able to do some things over there um, but anyways nice quick and easy one so hope you like that thanks for watching and I'll see you next video bye